The blue wave wash over Texas. Now at four voters casting last minute ballots hours before what's already an historic midterm election. And News 8 is your place for live election coverage all night long. Thanks for joining us for News 8 at 4 o'clock. I'm Sonia Azad in for Jason Wheeler. Our set has sort of undergone a makeover. This is our election headquarters. We want to show you we are keeping our eyes on some very big races that could change the face of the nation. Republicans hoping to maintain their narrow Senate majority. Meanwhile, Democrats want to take control of the House. No race may be bigger than the Texas Senate race. History is on the line as Democrat Beto O'Rourke looks to unseat Republican Ted Cruz. Now, if Beto wins, he would be the first Democrat elected to a U.S. Senate seat in Texas in three decades. He's in his hometown in El Paso right now, where he cast his ballot earlier today. And our Teresa Woodard is there and has more on Beto's camp preparing for tonight. It would make history if this happens in El Paso tonight. It's been almost a quarter of a century since Texas elected a Democrat to a statewide office. Congressman Beto O'Rourke has fought a hard campaign, and indeed he is still campaigning even at this hour. He says he will be working the polls until they close at 7 p.m. local time. It was about 7 a.m. when the congressman walked about two to three blocks from his El Paso home to cast his own ballot. His wife Amy and their three kids were with him. He carried a coffee mug and had on a baseball cap, looking extremely relaxed and that was the vibe he gave off too. He looked refreshed and happy. He was asked if he thinks he's going to win and he simply said yes. Of course, that remains to be determined. Turnout, especially young voter turnout, will be key for this campaign. The congressman says the record early voter turnout in Texas is an indication that there is an energized blue wave across this state, but it will be a few hours before the thousands of supporters who will gather inside this ballpark and the rest of Texas will see if that is indeed true. In El Paso, I'm Teresa Woodard. Let's get the other side of this campaign from my colleague Kevin Reese, who's with Senator Ted Cruz in Houston.